that weakness is in the way. And you don't just get it out of the way by ignoring it. And you don't get it out of the way by pretending you're going to be confident in the place where you are weak. You can't affirm yourself out of this weakness. You can't post yourself out of this weakness. The only thing you can do with a weakness is yoke it up to something stronger than the area where you're weak. His name is Jesus. Oh, God, I didn't got his name. Make sure the volume is up on your phone because I want you to hear grace when it starts ringing. I want you to hear grace when it starts knocking on your door. I prophesy for somebody in this room that before I see you again on Sunday, that you're going to have an encounter with grace. That grace is going to wake you up in the middle of the night. And all of a sudden, where you were weeping, somebody's going to wake up laughing. I think grace just woke me up out of depression. I think grace just woke me up out of stupid. Grace. that you standing in the room where hell tried to attack me you standing in the room where hell said all right shalom shalom this is your brother shamak out of the great millstone atlanta camp before i get started want to give all the glory infinite praises unto yahweh bahashim yahweh shai bahashim rachakwadash yahweh been the heavenly father's true name and his only begotten son's true name being yahweh shai both in the hebrew language whom the world incorrectly calls God and Jesus Christ. Also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, and who are the true leaders of the Hebrew Israelites within these last days. Also want to give a shalom to all the sincere brothers that's pushing teaching the truth worldwide, and shalom to all you sincere listeners and you sincere believers out there. All right, and you seen with the clip of this mega, this mega church pastor. All right, and I damn I can't even say up and coming because damn hey. You see the net worth here of the uh, Sarah Jake Roberts, okay? Net worth is estimated about around 18 million and just thought to call it out through the spirit and also using via the scriptures, man. And this is just not, and this is just not Sarah Jake Roberts, but all, hey, all these women pastors, man, first and foremost, teaching, teaching falsely, all right? And not, and not even in order to be teaching in the first place, according to the scriptures, according to the Bible, according to the Lord, whom they proclaim they believe in. All right. And these are just simple, straight to the point scriptures that when these scriptures come up, they go to, you know, uh, backtracking or playing semantics with the word. All right. When the scriptures are straight to the point. OK. And this is just, you know, the, the influences out there, man, the 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 the, the, the following, the, the Instagram, social media, the, the business ventures. It's all out there, man, to get 18 million. It's all through gimmicks, the glamour. All right. The 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 advertisement, the show. All right. And it, it is it has it has our people now. And, and I speak to our people being you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans in a stronghold, in a delusion. All right. Already under that spell of Christianity. And it's just being pushed by 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 the black women even more. All right. As if Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, these mega church pastors like like that wasn't enough. All right. And this seems like a mentee of uh, T.D. Jakes or whatnot or some type of relation. OK, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, is that, hey, this is it's out of order, man. This it is confusing our people. So let me get straight to the point with First Timothy, chapter two, verse First uh, Timothy, chapter two, verse 11. OK, and it reads, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. And this is and this is in the New Testament whom Christians proclaim they believe in. All right. Verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor to absorb authority over the man, but to be in silence, all right? This, this is what the Lord, all right, had, this is the order of the Lord, okay? And to back that up furthermore, okay, it says, uh, you see the Christian order, all right? True Christians, those that follow after the anointed, that follow after the true name, which is Yahweh Shai, okay? Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, okay? It says, First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1, Be ye followers of me. Even as I am also of Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Paul speaking to the Church of Corinth. All right, if you truly believe in Yahweh Shai, you if you truly believe believe in the Anointed, you're going to believe on the what the Scriptures say. Straight to that's as simple as that. All right, no gray area. Verse two. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. 
and the head of Yahweh Shai is the most high. Okay, that's what the, that's the that's the order that the Lord has set up. Okay, and a one and women teaching in general, not just Sarah Jake Roberts. Okay, but women teaching in the churches or in, attempting to prophesy. Okay, and teaching children. Hey, you know that's the order of things, man. Okay, but teaching teaching the church, te teaching the congregations. That's 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 off. That's out of order. That's not a, according to, to to the way things uh to the way the Lord has set things up. All right. So this is also still in the book of Corinthians. All right. This is uh 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Yep, this is uh verse 33. All right. As I mentioned before, this is just the 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 women, it is it, not it doesn't matter if the black women, it don't matter what color it is. The women teaching is just utter confusion in the in first and foremost. All right. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Well, we know this is pushed by the so-called white man. This this entire this, this entire uh, set up the the entire foundation of Christianity. It's all set up by the so-called white man. All right, the beginning of wickedness. All right, but this is First Corinthians chapter fourteen, verse thirty-three. It reads, "For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints." And who are the saints? The Hebrew Israelites. Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans who are scattered worldwide. This warning and this call out is truly for you. All right, to wake up out of that slumber, if it's if it is at all possible in the eyes of the Lord for you for you to do so. All right, verse thirty four. But it's our job to to at least call it out through the Spirit and to back it up with scriptural evidence. All right, verse thirty four. Let your women keep silence in the churches. All right, these are straight to the point. The women can even understand these scriptures because we know women are you know like scriptures speak out in, in the book of Job that they're deprived of, of the wisdom. All right, you know roughly paraphrasing. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> these scriptures are truly intended for the men to receive. That's how the Lord has set things up. All right. It says, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is a shame for women to speak in the church. See, it says, what came the word of God out of from you or it came it? Unto you only, if any man think himself to be a prophet or spiritual, let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. See, this is these are these are these aren't ask of the Lord. These are commandments. All right, and those that are disobedient, you put your way, you put your uh your life in the way of judgment. All right, of being put to death in these last days, man. All right, because you understand that. The, Especially the women of our nation, all right, you Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans who are truly Israelites according to the Bible, are out of order, okay? They're self-willed, presumptuous, okay? And the man, we, the, the man, her husband is also, of course, a part in that field, in that industry, all right, to, to falsely teach our people, okay? Also a pastor, all right? But if you, if, if y'all, if, if anyone believes the word, it says, let him acknowledge all right. Let him acknowledge that the things that I write unto you are the commandments of the Lord. These aren't these are commandments, man. All right. These are these are things not to be ignored. If you say, quote unquote, you believe in the Bible. All right. Which we know it's all, you know, it's all it's all bull. OK. Let me see. Uh, This is Michael chapter three. All right. When I am speaking, I'm saying bull as in their, their their facade, their teachings. OK. Their 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 approach is not sincere. It's for money. All right, that's why it says here's his rulers denounced. Okay, this is Micah chapter three verse verse eleven. Okay, and it reads, "The heads thereof judge for reward." All right, they, the reason TDJs, the Creflo Dollars, the Joel Osteens, all right, people love to repost. Our people love to attend. Our people love to tie to these to these uh to these uh mega church pastors, man. All right, these false teachers, these false prophets. All right, these 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 demons. All right, they're truly demons. OK, they come, they come eloquent, they come, you know, uh, in fake, innocent. All right. But just just stealing your money, man. All right. That's exactly, that's all they're doing. Stealing. This is Micah chapter three, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets thereof divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. All right, but it, it's all it's all for money, man. It's all it's all games, okay? And that's and that's what we continue as as true teachers, all right, to our people, true warners and true, you know, um, 
true prophets, man. We we're warning our people to come, hey, come out of the, come out of Christianity. But we know that that's a deep sleep upon our people, and that's the that's what the spirit, that's the spirit the Lord gave these people. But we're still here to warn our people about it, call it out, hey, and keep it moving. You know, so Lord willing, you know this lesson was uh, edifying and also straight to the point. All right, concerning uh, Sarah Jake Roberts, concerning women pastors, concerning Christianity at, in a, as a whole. All right. So, Lord willing, this was edifying and also encouraging to you, sincere believers. I went in all by giving all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well. All right, and repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. Repent. Yahweh Shai is coming back. All right, Shalom. Keep the faith. Shalom.